Hello everyone, this is Excalibur of Excalibur's Minecraft. I am sitting here in a new vanilla 1.6 server because I decided it was time to upgrade. Um, I've just spent a, about a half an hour or so working on my first um, building here. Uh, we'll see how well it works. I, I gotta go back to this mode. There we go. Um, it's getting close to night time. I've just been using some sandstone to put up the initial wall. Need to get more dirt, more stone, yada yada yada. But uh, I wanted to take advantage of uh, the, the desert we have here and try my best to get things looking pretty. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and do... Oh, yeah. Get these stairs in. And I'm probably going to put a door right in here. And let's go ahead and get ready to sleep. So, uh... And we're going to have someone named Ordinary Swine on the server running his own Let's Plays. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, I don't have any torches. This is the first time I've done um, any type of survival and started off without any torches, no coal, very little stone. That I had a total of 12 stone. And I'm building an above ground base to start. That's. Uh, Measured 13 by 13. I decided to put the stairs here. Um, so, it's not really super exciting yet. We're going to see how well we go. Uh, grab one door. We don't want that many. There we go. Some of the new features you can double left click to. There we go. Double left click to get your um, items from your crafting bench up into your inventory. So what I need here is I need to fill this in. I want it nice and flat with um, the entry door right here. Actually, we're going to pull that down. We're going to go ahead and continue this upwards and we're going to use sand here. We've got three extra pieces, so sand, sand, stair. And that's all we need. That, that's going to actually be grass. So, we're going to have some fun here. I'm going to see about making this look a little bit nicer as time goes on. Sandstone to start, or maybe maybe for good, because I think it would look pretty nice. Um, one of the goals I plan on doing is building a large ziggurat again. Here, there we go. And that ziggurat is going to We'll just put this down for now. The ziggurat is going to be used as the main base. So it's not going to be in the desert because too many mobs show up there. I might level a large mountain or go across a series of mountains or bury it. Actually, that would be pretty nice. There's this nice valley here. If I made it look like it was buried in the in the dirt, that would be great. So today we're going to go down and we're going to get ourselves this tree and get some more cobblestone and see where that takes us. Uh, I was lucky there's an abundance of pigs and sheep in the area, so I was able to easily, easily, easily get myself 
some pork now and uh, the wool for the bed. And one of the things we're going to be doing is I want to go out into the desert and see if I can find a village. Because it's a pretty big desert. I figure why not try, right? So we're going to use up these wooden tools. And we're going to start getting our stone tools on. And then we're going to make ourselves a crap ton of charcoal. Because that tree is going to fall apart. We're going to get the saplings. And this could probably end up being something nice. So I'm going to hollow it out probably a 5x5 five five under here. Let's see here. Yeah. There we go. That's three. One more on each side. Now, I'm going completely vanilla right now, and I eventually plan to get Forge installed and allow for uh, Armor Status HUD and a couple other mods that I like to run, like a Raise Minimap and stuff like that. I really enjoy um, some of the features it adds, and I don't have to modify the server to use them. And that's the big point there, because I've got friends who'll be on the server, and they aren't very good with modding their clients. So. I think this is enough stone for now. Let's go grab some of those saplings. We may see some of my uh, friends log out. I don't know. There we go. Let's see if we can get more seed. Ooh. As Syndicate would say. Apple, but I would prefer just getting this apple. apple. All right. So what, what's going to happen is we're going to work here through the day, and once it starts setting night, we'll sleep, and in the morning we're going to set out and make sure that I have enough food for the trip because I plan to go out to midday and then turn around. So. I'm going to leave at least two pigs, but I'm going to kill off as many of these guys as I can without diminishing the local supply. And i got to get carrots, and that's one of the reasons why I'm looking for a village. Because with uh, carrots, I can at least... Oh, that was not good, and I'm not going to go after that. I'm not really good at the PvP action, that's why this is not a PvP server. Okay, so... Thank you for cooperating. Alright, you guys will live. Let's see what's up here. I decided to try a large biomes world for once. Ah, there's a piggy. And see how well... Um... I could get along in that. It's a very sparse area for trees, I'll tell you what. We'll see how all this works. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of saplings, we just needed enough. Let's not waste that, shall we? See if we can get there's one more. You know, the main challenge for me is not surviving in the Minecraft world. That's after playing Feed the Beast in uh, my original Let's Play series. Um, if, you, if you pay attention to what you're doing, it's not that hard to thrive. Uh, let alone survive. Uh, let alone survive, yeah. So, you just have to be careful with your resources. Know when to eat, know when to go hunting. And. Watch you. And I've got lag on this 
server for some reason. I don't have any mods installed at all, and it's still giving me crap. Alright, Piggy, I'm gonna have to fist you. I mean, pummel you to death. There we go. There we go. Alright, now. Ooh, and we have some coal. I think I will partake of some coal. And there we go. At least two pieces. That's not bad. I got four more dirt. So we'll go ahead and take these here. Yep, I see that I am getting the hunger. So I'll make sure I take care of that. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out four from here, make sure it's all level. One, two, three, yep, yeah, four is right here. One, two, three, four. There we go. As long as we, uh, we can use this entire area for farming. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this hill right here. Pull out this dirt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get the food situation going. I'll get rid of this here and this here. And it's getting dark. If this is Terra Farmacraft, I would have just gotten a drink of water. Alright. Sparing, sparing, sparing. Okay. I'm going to need two. Yay! Email. I'm going to have to learn to turn that thing off when I start recording. But, uh, I have to be sure that I can be communicated with or I do not lose communications because I work at night and sometimes. They need to contact me. Okay. So, why don't we go ahead and make ourselves some wooden sword here. And we'll grab this stuff here. Make ourselves some more sticks. We'll get ourselves a pick. An axe. Oh, and a shovel. There, we have one of each. And we will make ourselves a chest to hold our initial stuff. Because I do not think I'm going to need that, or that, or this, 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 or those. I will, I'll even leave the coal here. I'll take everything else. So pick that and axe, shovel. Coal will stay here. I will use up that first. Alright. Grab a small fork. And head on out. So that is south. To the south. Ugh. Now we're just gonna run pretty much in a straight line this way and see what we can find. This is where I wish I had raised minimap because then I could more easily spot villages and stuff without having to climb over the hills. Now being large biomes, <laughs> these places are going to be kind of big. Uh, 
And I'm hoping with the larger biomes, it increases the chance of spotting uh, a village or something like that. Now, I do not know how long I have been recording for, but this one will probably be a, bit, a little bit longer than your average recording. And then uh, I'm going to shoot for 30 minute episodes after this. We'll see how that turns out. And uh, I really need to get the better player model. So I think it's uh, better first person. It shows your arms swinging and stuff in first person mode. Okay. So now we know there's a jungle right on the other side of the desert to the south of us. We're going to go ahead and see if there are any cocoa beans within. Yep, there we are, right there. Grab some cocoa beans and grab some. We'll take this small tree and we'll take that stuff there. shift. There we go. Ouch. Yeah, what's in range? Good. Alright. Now what we'll do is we'll go a little bit over that away, which is, since I'm facing north, that would be the east. We're getting the sugar cane because I'm sure we're going to need books. Which means we're also going to need to find a source of cows. And this is about the, the distance I needed to go before turning back. How nice is that? Okay, probably going to leave, uh... oh, no floating tree, awesome, but I won't be getting any saplings, sorry to say. We're going to run this way, probably just the other side of that hill. I did not see any jungle temples right off the bat, that would have been a nice boom. Um, if we see any desert temples, we are, of course, going to raid them with all due haste. Alright. Because not only is a TNT useful, um, we can use the rotten flesh and stuff inside. If uh, I'm correct, dog mechanics haven't changed, and you can heal them up with rotten flesh instead of your uh, nice cooked steak and, and junk. Okay, so we're going to go up to this dune and then we're going to hit due north after we look around. Okay, more plains. I see more trees that way. So we are on the edge of this biome. Um, there's another desert to the north, or maybe the west of our position, and I'm going to be sure... Alright, let everything catch up. I'm running this on a server, and unfortunately the server host is not really all that good. That's something I don't like hearing. Somebody sleeping on the job. Okay, so this is good to know. And we have some more pork up here. Which I'm going to... Uh, take a here. I'm 
be careful around these places. Keeper goes up. You're in for a, a long world of hurt. Okay. So we're... That's well, actually not too far from us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we have some really nifty mounds over here, so let's see if we can get some more seed over here. Because our next order of business, if we get this, is to get a sustainable food source, which of course means farming. Skeletons. The sad thing is, after the first sheep to make your bed, they're generally pretty useless animals. Okay, let's head on back. I mean, you can use the wool for stuff, but now that we have stuff like hardened clay and everything, you don't really need wool. Considering hardened clay does not catch on fire when lightning strikes it. Or when lava is poured on it. Or when you catch it on fire with a flint and tinder. Or flint and steel. Okay, that's nice to know we've got a near sheer drop here. Ouch. But I saw that coal back there. It looks like we've got a nice little oasis here. At least that's what that looks like to me. We have some mushrooms over here. And a skeleton. So let's get our uh, monster hunting on. And get some of these mushrooms. Over here, and then get on up. One, two, three, four. We're gonna jump up this hill here. Ooh, I've got the theme songs of a lot of children's songs stuck in my head because of my toddler son. It's a, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let me tell you, but uh, <laughs> songs will drive you mad. Okay, so we got 13 more of these guys. Uh, throw in two of those. Go to sleep while that cooks. Yep, you see this? Whitelist. Uh, we are whitelisting the server. So, and it's a private invite only, just so you're aware. So we have 22 of this stuff here. And that's going to be a special farm. Then we'll bring the sugar cane down with us as well. Our farm is going to be right down here. filling in quite nicely, only to have it do, do. One, two, three, four. Now, most people know this by now, but you might not. Um, you can actually have one square source block of water, and then four blocks in every direction from that you can actually have farmland that will be hydrated. And that's why I made this plot here. So you technically have a 9x9 nine nine plot that you can use for your farm. I am going to be doing a multiple stuff here. We'll have our wheat farm, which is what I just planted. And then on this other stuff, we're going to have sugar cane. If I can find chickens, we will have ourselves 
um, eggs, and then we can make uh, lots of fun stuff with those eggs. Let's go ahead and dig down one block. Gather up this stone. Maybe we can find some iron or coal. And we can start putting in a foundation underneath that sandstone. See, a lot of people dislike cobblestone. I don't really care. <laughs> it's a building material. I think in my normal texture pack, which is a modified Doku Craft texture pack, uh, cobblestone looks pretty nice. Then, if I do that, then that means I can go down one more. Yeah. We can probably turn this into the first mine and have this as the the topmost office or uh, beginning row. Ooh, got some flint. Good. If I can find some iron, that would be happier. So yeah, this will be our first mine. We'll just do a step formation here. Let's see. Whoa, we're going to start. Uh, we'll st leave these first two and then we'll just mine everything in a five in a five block. Stair step on down. So we'll gather up all this rock here. Unfortunately it's gonna sit nice and dark for a bit until I get the torches made. But that's okay. get iron so I can get buckets. Uh, that way I can go off and get myself some lava, and some water, and make ourselves a lovely cobblestone generator. Then we won't have to worry about mining for our stone. Well, we'll still be mining per se, but okay, and to make sure no baddies come out, I'm going to take one of those gravels there we go. All right. So here we are. We go on back up here and start laying down cobblestone at the level right below this sandstone. Now, it's mainly to add some nice look to it, but uh, we could also consider it to be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it at this level. Uh, we can also consider it to be a structural element. And what we're going to do is uh, we'll fill this cobblestone in right here. Probably bring it all the way down. And we will take that dirt that we're picking up. And we will lay it on the inside like this. So we'll have a nice dirt floor. But on the outside here, we're going to have our cobblestone. Now, right now, this dirt is a semi-precious commodity to me. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we get it all. We have to use it to fill in our floor in the base of our house. So, yep, it's odd. It's odd. You're. It's almost like I'm playing um, Skyblock or Lonely Island or something like that. Now, I've been thinking about doing a Lonely Island series. I think it would be a, a fun challenge. There we go. Alright. Um, but it's just a matter of getting the time to do so. There we go. Uh, Tom Syndicate, you know, 
Pro Syndicate, Minecraft guy, uh, Call of Duty, I think, zombies, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he's a gamer from the UK. Uh, he actually did this one game where he ran and uh, didn't stop. All he did was uh, just keep running and running and running. Um, didn't set up any uh, permanent structures or anything like that. And he said it was a really, really fun game. And I think that would be a fun fun game to get into. I really do. And we're going to go ahead and grab the stone and replace it with a bit of dirt. Just for now. Um, but I was, uh, listening to him talk about that kind of game style, and I thought that might be a really fun series to get into as well. Or style of play. Now, would I be able to do that on a timely basis? I don't think I can do this on, a, on any kind of timely basis. Yeah. Get back here, Judy. There we go. So we'll have to see how this all goes. My main goal here is to try and get some form of Let's Play going again. Um, I've been on a hiatus mainly due to work and family, and it's all wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, I wouldn't give that up for the world, but I really want to do Let's Plays. <laughs> Let's see here, sun is there. Let's go ahead and take down these trees. I love my bag far too much to uh, let gaming get in the way of that. But uh, I actually do have time when I'm not working and not doing the daddy thing and husband thing to actually do some Let's Plays. So that's what my goal is here, is to try and get out at least one or two episodes per week. I think that would be a really good amount. Um, for my time. If I can do more, I will. Um, and there may be times that I can just do a, a straight hour session or two. Ooh, and uh, we'll have to check that out and see how things how things fly. Alright, so there are a couple things that, I'm, that I'd like to get going here. One is I need more sandstone. So we're going to make some more shovels. We'll go down and get sand. I'll probably do that off camera. Because um, I know that you really enjoy seeing people chop down trees. Yay! It's really fun. Um, what kind of wacky things will I be doing in my Let's Play series? Well, one is going to be the ziggurat. I plan to make it a 4x4 four four structure, a very large, large, large structure. And one, two, two, two between, yeah, one, two. Um, and with any luck, um, I'll be able to get the, <laughs> the drive to build it again. Um, I built it on my Feed the Beast server. I built it on Tykin's server. Um, if you don't know who Tykin 132 is, uh, look him up on YouTube. He has Let's Plays for um, Project Zomboid. Is that the name of the game? He has uh, Game Dev Tycoon. And, of course, Minecraft. He's got Feed the Beast. And he's got uh, Vanilla which uh, is what I'm doing here. Um, I may do one episode of Vanilla and one episode of um, Feed the Beast. I'll have to see.
Um, I really enjoy Feed the Beast. Uh, it can get a bit laggy, so instead of using a server, I'll probably do a single player of that. I'm doing the server Let's Play because uh, um, I think it would be fun to try it that way. I also uh, think it'd be cool to do an SMP series if people actually log in and do their own videos and stuff off this. Um, world downloads, I don't know if I will do that. This is a pretty interesting seed from what I've seen. I haven't done much exploring, as you can see. But I think mobs are supposed to get harder the longer you stay in one place. So that's what I'm going to try and do roaming around the area and not spend a lot of time at home base except for certain tasks that we have to do each day. Those tasks are to tend our tree farm, to tend our wheat farm, increase our animal population, um, make sure that we have um, ample protection and resources. So we're going to be doing a lot of mining. Now, my style of mining is I like to do a lot of branch mining. Oh, and we have a nice natural cave here, which goes up farther there and down into a chunk area there. So always nice. I don't have any torches, so I'm not going caving. Not just yet. Because uh, after we get what we're doing around here done today, we're going to run to the north and see what's that way. Some more pork. Because we do need set of protein, you know. We need the other white meat to help keep us fed. Uh, to start out as getting seeds. And if this is too jerky, I apologize. And we may as well get wood while we're out here. Since this is going to be a shared world, I'm going to have to come up with uh, some boundaries on where people can build and all that, and whether we're going to do a spawn village or not. The goal is to not allow any creative mode at all, not even for presents like I was doing before. Now the only time I'll be creative is if I have to retroactively give somebody stuff back due to an accidental death or something, or prank god awry or some weird stuff like that. Since I will be the only mod for now, uh, we may be uh, not seeing any creative mode at all for a while. Since it is a server, it is set to normal mode difficulty. I don't want it to be in hard or hardcore, and I don't want it to be in easy or peaceful. We've got more water there. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, I think normal is perfectly fine because it's uh, plenty challenging enough. Uh, I prefer to do building more than um, survival, but I like doing survival as well, so that's why I prefer normal. Otherwise, creepers would get all over my face and destroy what I'm working on. And I don't want to cheat by turning on, turning off mob griefing. I did that for one player, really, on the last server. Um, and uh, I fully understand why he hates creepers and all that. But I want the challenge there. And, uh, well, creepers are a part of that challenge. I also... <laughs> Even though I hate Endermen, and uh, you'll hear me uh, complain about them, it's always kind of funny to see what they do, what they take, and where they put things. On Feed the Beast, Endermen can only pick up vanilla blocks that they're already assigned to pick up. They are, uh, they don't pick up any of the mod blocks. 
So you'll see that there are a lot of people who are building their bases um, out of basalt or marble or zycorn block or other junk like that because it makes it easy to keep the Enderman from killing stuff, you know. There we go. Go ahead and collect this grass and these flowers here. I know I left a bunch of red ones as well. I have the strongest temptation to build a twilight forest portal, but that doesn't exist in vanilla. We will be going to nether probably sooner rather than later because we are going to want to get some nether quartz, not only for XP, but for building materials and for comparators because I do indeed plan on getting into killing this zombie villager. Oh, he didn't drop any potatoes or anything. It looks like he came from here. That's right, we're going to start seeing zombie hordes take over. Good. I already dislike zombie films. Yeah, I'm one of those weird guys. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have zombie hordes take over and a whole bunch of other junk. Yeah, we got time to go grab this now. All right, yeah, surface. Um, one of the fun things about surface ores is just walking up on them and taking them right then and there. All right, looks like our farms are beginning to become fruitful. Alright, so this guy looks like he's going to be doing pretty well. Go ahead and harvest these two high ones. Yep. Decided to play some band hero the other day. A little bit today while my son and I were hanging out downstairs. Um, <laughs> having a, a grand old time with uh, some old 80s songs that I grew up with. I am an old man, by the way, yes, I am in my 40s, so... You will have to deal with that. If uh, you think I'm too old to play games, well, you'd be wrong. I am what I, I really like to call Todger, an old stick in the mud. Um, I don't like to change, well, not that often, I'm sort of a hermit, but a semi-social hermit at least. So, expect me to get discouraged when other people show up around my builds, because I really don't like it. I like to be left alone for the most part. Now oh, there we are. Okay, so when that sun goes down, we're going to sleep. And then we're going to run off in that direction see what's that way. Did I pick up any dirt at all? No, I didn't, but I did get some gravel, which we can use. I don't mind. Nope, we're not. We're not going to use this gravel. Okay, so we've got some food stuff here. Uh, 
excess that, excess seeds. We're already starting to have excess materials, which I am enjoying immensely. Our cobblestone is building up nicely. We're going to save those. We're going to turn those into golden apples. All right. Uh, go ahead and cook this. I don't really care too much about the efficiency. Take one of these guys. I'll take two. Three, four, five, six. There we go. So we'll throw that in there, throw that in there, and take this. We'll lay down. There have been some glitches with beds. Uh, I've fallen out of the beds and stuff like that. It's kind of humorous. I'm going to keep a cap a stack of cobblestone on us at all times and we're going to be turning this into charcoal all right and we won't worry about the gravel eventually we're going to have a stack of gravel on us at all times and we're going to take this uh, one two three four because we can use the sticks all right let's head on up battle well Do, do, do. I have no commercial breaks, so I'm just going to play through and stop when I stop. Let's see how far this ravine actually... Oh, there's some iron. We're going to have to go down there. But we'll have to go up top this way. And now we're going to go this way. You see that jerkiness that just went through? It's part of the server code for Minecraft, how they handle um, running. Now, rose red. Why is rose red so important in default Minecraft? I don't know. Now, with any luck at all, we will find a village. Okay, and while I'm doing it, if you guys are interested in the seed, there it is. Negative 91, 78, 24, 0, 79. I don't even have Optifine installed, and I'm getting these weird glitches due to my NVIDIA cards. Lightweight Java GL, you irritate me. Yeah, I see that I'm running past a lot of sugarcane. We're going to grab that on the way back. We're not going to worry about it on the way there. Or to wherever we're going. <laughs> And lo and behold, I have found that which I seek. A village, a village, hooray, I found a village. This means we can possibly get potatoes and carrots and more wheat than we can shake a stick at. I am not going to worry about protecting these villagers. Uh, that would be too much of a pain. And feed the beast, I'd be looking for... Oh, boy, yeah, they talk now. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest this wheat that's finished. Maybe some will finish while we're here. Maybe I'll teach these villagers how to actually plant their crops so that they get more per water source block. Let's get us uh, some sand here. seems to be these really weird glitches here where the water is bleeding through uh, the farm plots. Let's get rid of it. 
because of server lag, of course, of course. Give ourselves some lava. Okay. Hang on. Yay. And, of course, I'm having issues with... Ooh, obsidian in the chest. Wow, that's that's something I didn't expect. Take this. We'll see if there's any houses with books. And there are. Um, yeah, every once in a while I get... Server glitches, irritating as can be. And yes, I'm going to be taking everything I can. Because it can only help me in. Practice. I'll leave the door so you guys can have something. These are carrots. Excellent. And potatoes. Okay, we're going here. I'm not going to destroy much of that. Probably spent too much time here already. Grab this, and then we'll put on home. Where's my... There it is. And where's this... Okay, the sun is not set too far. I'm only taking the red crops. And, of course, I get a poisonous potato. I wish there was a way we could uh, replace poisonous uh, spider eyes with poisonous potatoes for weakness potions. That would be awesome. It looks like they just need block updates. Okay. So that's a couple of buildings. Well, he's got a little bit of resources. Ooh. Did not want to jump on that crop and destroy it. Yeah. Did it again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think... Uh, we can take out that right there. We can just keep grabbing this food here really quick. That's probably going to be my downfall right there. There's uh, getting food and then running back in the dark. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head south. And we're going to be running. I'll take this, this, and this really quick, and this. Now let's head out. We got some books, and we got a couple of things here. Maybe we can uh, luck out and find more villages tomorrow. I'm going to leave the sugar cane where it is. And yeah, why am I not sprint tripping? We did go north, didn't we? Oh well, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I see the hills starting over there. Let's 
good to know we have a village relatively close by. Okay, that's the road of red over there. And there's the house. Yep. And there's a zombie. Who now knows about me because of the new mechanics? Well, we got the carrots, which means we can start breeding for pigs. Get ourselves a nice steady food source. We have a ravine here, which means that we can probably get some pretty good resources. And uh, we're, we've got a pretty good uh, protected area up here. And we have our first bit of iron. Okay, we're going to keep... Ah, we're going to do what we needed to do. One coal or charcoal per eight items is what the formula is, and that's why you saw me put those in there. Okay, so that's what we can do here. We'll go ahead and turn that into planks. Got some pressure plates, which uh, one of the things I really wanted. Okay, so putting it there, open it up inwards, which means we're going to need a hall there. So, we have some sandstone. We're going to go ahead and start that up so that we do that. And we've got a mutant tree. Awesome. But we have automatic door opening and closing. We have another chest. Doing double chest is now making us happy, happy. 21 books. Excellent. Excellent. All right, now let's get some organization done. We want our food stuff right here. The things we can grow will go in there. There we go. We can't grow any of that. Uh, trees are not food stuff. And we now have a major surplus of seed. We have wheat, which that is more than enough to make several loaves of bread, carrots for pigs and for potions, potatoes for us. Poisonous potato goes away. I wonder if you can use that as fuel. Iron ingots. We're going to make a bucket. And now we have bread as well. I did not see any cows. I don't know if there were any. All right, so we're getting charcoal. I'm going to take these 14. We're going to take these planks. And we're going to make ourselves torches. Let there be light. Let's go out and illuminate around here. I normally do every seven, but what we're going to do is we're going to find the middle. Be a little stingy with the, the torches here. So I think this is about it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And we have another tree. Hooray! I want a nice nice two or three drop. Two to three. Three would be your ideal, so that's what we're going to do. There we go. Now, I think what I am going to do is, uh, instead of having just sandstone there, this is going to be stone all the way down like this. And go ahead and replace all of that but for now one, two, three, four, five. there we go six and one two three four five six one two three four five six seven up ah, right there lag how I hate the I shall spit my last breath at thee. Yeah, I put this in a really advantageous spot, didn't I? Alright, so here's our farm doing pretty spiffy. Time to light up our mine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have two here, and then we'll have torches going down the middle every three stairs just like that so one two th one two three and this is where we're going to be starting our operations now that gave us flint and i don't want to use the dirt or the wood so cobble there you go Go ahead and line this and cowl. Here we are. And yes, I'm going to be using the dirt, so this is perfectly fine. Now with this wonderful bucket that we just made, I'm going to grab some water from our area here. Yep. What the? Weird. When you place source blocks, it makes a poop sound like you just drop a block. There we go. So, a little bit of harvesting here. Grab the sweet. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Grab the sweet. Yep, you should know. When you see the little brown dots on the top, you know it's done. I think it's a little bit too close to the different stages, but hey, what do I know? I'm not a graphic design artist. I am a user interface specialist, though. At least in terms of uh, my training and schooling. All right, so more seed. We got three more wheat. We're going to save that wheat. <clears throat> now, more flint. We have dirt to finish our floor. Hmm. 
Yay! So the floor is finally finished and I can look out and see everything I need to see. Probably can go check that out eventually. That's another nice place to build. But look at this monster of a tree. Ugh. Luckily I can come up here and cut it down from the top. Only thing I hate about big trees in this game is this mess. One of the awesome things about oak trees is that you can get up there and make these big ones. So if you're lucky enough to make a bunch of big ones, you can actually turn a house. Turn them into a house. Go up here and put down the top. This gives us an even better view. <laughs> and see how far I can get before other people start showing up. So I really am not that far away from the spawn point. And if any if my experience holds true. Everybody's going to want to build close to spawn or close to another player. And I may have to turn this into a temporary base. Which is fine, all I do is put dirt and some cobblestone and sandstone into it. Okay. Finish up these right here. Now we'll just hop down and go to sleep. See how nifty this would be if it was a house? <laughs> what I'm probably going to do is in terms of sand Um, see this line here? Probably going to go and level it out. Level all that out up to there. Now there's no real reason for me to build any roads that way. However, the opposite direction we have a village. And whether we use the village for its resources in terms of sandstone and cutting things down, or if we use it um, for villagers, I don't know. One thing's for certain, if we use it for the villagers, we're going to have to protect the place, or move the villagers to a more protected location. Now here's a pro tip for you. When you're uh, chopping down a tree in the fashion that I am from the top down, make sure you leave the logs in place until after you've cleared off the leaves. Because so what will happen is if you've got leaves that are not within five blocks of the log, at least naturally placed, um, they will start to despawn or disappear right out from underneath your feet. And you've probably experienced that if you've played Minecraft for any length of time. Um, so that'll, that'll help keep you from griefing yourself. And of course you can use shears to collect the leaves if you want, that kind of thing. I don't really want any bushes right now. Sorry Corrales if you're watching this. But, um, bushes are not on my agenda at this point in the game. Um, I'm going to build stuff to be functional to start. And then I'll we'll pretty it up after the fact. One of the main reasons why I start building with cobblestone almost immediately. I did see an apple plop out there. Uh, 
I'm starting to miss my thumb craft tools, the ones with repair on them and everything, and enchantments and all that. Starting over like this really sucks sometimes. So I think I saw another apple pop up down here. Yep, I did. Go ahead and put this guy too on that. Then I'll take out these uh, logs. And sapling. I'm not going to worry about a sapling. We're not worried about getting biofuel or energy or anything like that going. So I'm not going to worry too much about one or two saplings of anything. The main thing to use saplings for in vanilla is to create more trees for tree farms. And I plan on making a better tree farm than this. Sort of based off of a design that um, Syndicate used. And I've used a Tykin server. Um, but both of those were actually out over water. I'll probably put this nice and flat against land because lose, having to swim for all your saplings and apples and everything sucks. And it tends to get in the way of your boats. Alright, next layer. Uh, as you can see, big trees like this, they take some time. I already wasted a day doing it. But, uh, if you guys bear with me, I'll just finish up this last level. I'm going to start a, a little bit larger of a tree farm here. Not too far. Yep, looks like one despawned. Despawn, not despawn. I need to learn to speak English better. Um, and you may have noticed I've actually been going through a couple of trees with this um, rather than just the one. Alright, so we're getting a little bit closer. Should have yeah, almost half a stack. Okay. <clears throat> so a little bit of background about me and Minecraft. I have not been playing all that long. Maybe a year. Maybe not even a year. Nope, not even a year yet. Um, I'm not really getting to become super well known anywhere. Uh, these videos are mainly for friends, but if anybody else enjoys them, I am perfectly happy with that. I don't mind in the least. I did not kill my bridge. Okay. There we go. And we'll leave the rest to pick up off camera. We'll be planting these guys soon enough. And we have six apples now. Awesome. Let me put a poisonous apple in there. Okay, one, two, <laughs> two, three, four. There we go. That should be more than enough. This needs to be thrown away. Put the charcoal in there. And we'll put the sticks right there. Okay, so I think we've gotten off to a pretty good start here. We've found a village, gotten ourselves a, a farm, a sugarcane farm. We've gotten the potatoes and the carrots to start a, um, those farms as well. We've got a simple tree farm here. Maybe I'll 
put the actual tree farm here or right down in there. We've got some sort of plan, probably for this area right here, to incorporate our ziggurat. We'll have to see if that will actually be good. Maybe I'll build it in the sky. Hmm. I have not done a sky fortress before. Uh, we do know that all this sand here will be turned into sandstone for use on this here. That, yeah. And uh, we have yet to explore in that direction and in that direction for any length of time. Uh, we need to bring ourselves a bed and a crafting table and head off that direction and well, every direction, as far as we can. We'll see how everything goes. So, I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and call this recording session to a close. Um, this is the first bit on the new server. I like that cave back there. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to see exactly how well I do in vanilla. Um... I prefer Feed the Beast, and maybe even Hex it more. We'll have to see. I have to see. The new versions of 1.6 have been intriguing me, and I want to make sure that I actually get a chance to use them. So that's what this is all about. Well, this is Excalibur. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's probably kind of boring, watching me set up for the first time. But uh, we will see where this new world takes us. I hope you enjoy playing Minecraft. I know I do. Have a good one. I'm Excalibur, and I'm out.